All right, guys, welcome to another video here. In this video, I want to make a very quick tutorial because I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to make the change from Visual Studio to Visual Studio Code. Um, to be honest, I use Visual Studio Code for basically just about everything. I use it for Python, for JavaScript, for Solidity, for, I mean, you name it. This is my go-to text editor. Um, when I first started working with Unity, I worked with Visual Studio. And there are some differences here. Visual Studio is the purple one here. You can see it says right there. Visual Studio Code or VS Code is the blue one from here. Um, for most for most people, the main difference is that Visual Studio Code is going to be faster for them when they're using Unity. Of course, there are more differences between the two here. You're welcome to look at them on your own time here. But for me and my purposes right now, I'm going to switch over to VS Code or Visual Studio Code here. Now, if you guys want to do it too here, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So we're going to go to File here. And we're going to go, to, I'm sorry, go down to edit here and we're going to go to preferences here. Um, one of the things that I always kind of mix up here is build settings versus preferences. Think about preferences more as a general preference for Unity as a whole, whereas build settings is more for an individual project, okay? I'm going to go to external tools here and on the external script editor, I'm going to switch from Visual Studio Community to Visual Studio Code from there. And that should be good to go. Oh. Looks like we have one little error there. Actually, I think that's just with my install of Unity here. Um, you guys might see that too here, but I think that's pretty much normal for me, okay? Let's go ahead and scroll down here. Let's go ahead and close this up here, and let's make a new script here. So create C-sharp script. Whoops, C-sharp script here, and let's just name this new script from here. Now, I might need to install an extension on my VS Code here, so if we need to do that, we're going to do that together really quickly here. Otherwise, yeah, I want to see if this works properly. And let's open this up here. I'm going to say, yes, I trust all the authors from here. And it looks like we're good to go here. Um, sure, let's install the recommended um, extensions here. Now you can see that once I said, sure, it kind of, uh, it gave me an extension to be able to edit C Sharp uh, code here. Um, if you need to, I'm going to show you in a second here all the extensions I have installed here. Um, and all right, really quickly here, these are all the extensions I have installed here. I want to check very quickly to see if I had a C-sharp one or a Unity one installed here. But there probably is a Unity one available on the marketplace here. So just search for Unity. Yeah, there's one right here. Um, so you could install that if you wanted to. It's pretty low rating from there, so I probably wouldn't if you wanted to install this one, you could here. But right now, my scripts look pretty good from here. So if I go to new script from here and I don't need this terminal right now, I can close it up here. Oops, new script. Close up the terminal. Cool. And on the start, let's just do a debug dot log dot log and let's say something like hello. And you can see it's working pretty good from here. If I need to import more namespaces, I could here. I could say using Unity uh, engine dot UI. So this is looking pretty good from here. Let's save this here. Let's go back to Unity. And let's just let's uh, attach a script onto something in scene here to see if it's working properly. Okay, let's just attach this onto the canvas. And if you guys remember, in our script from here, we should see hello in the console when we start the game from here. And this is attached to my canvas, looking good from there. Let's keep an eye on the console, and let's go ahead and hit play. Cool, we get hello here. So it looks like everything's working. It looks like everything is good to go from here, okay? So if you guys learned something here, if you guys made the switch too, be sure to let me know down in the comments here. If you guys prefer to use a VS, excuse me, Visual Studio or VS Code here, or maybe something else. Maybe you guys prefer to use Atom or maybe even, um, I've actually even seen, I think it was like an Android SDK somebody using. Um, so it, it actually wasn't, it's kind of like, I know that sounds really weird when I just said that, but yeah, surprisingly. But yeah, let me know what you guys are using here. And if you guys learned something, if you guys did the tutorial with me, be sure to let me know. Or if I missed something, let me know too, all right? Um, other than that, I do offer some Unity courses. If you guys want to check them out, links are in the description down below. I hope you guys have a great day.